Hello everyone and welcome to the latest installment of What Does Lisa Do? I'm joining you today on my day off, um, which explains why I'm a little casual, a little tired, but I really am excited about this episode. It's going to be one of my favorite episodes just because of the topic. The topic today are the services that I offer involving angels. Now, what are angels? Angels are supreme spiritual beings, celestial beings. I always call them created from the sparks of God. There is nothing human about angels. You cannot upset them. They cannot fall in love with you. They can only love you unconditionally and unwavering in their love and joyful. Angels protect us. They are the messengers, and upon request, because we have free will, they also will give us personal guidance. My angels have always been around me, just like they've been around you. I uh, remember them most specifically in my later teens, into my 20s, especially in my earlier 20s, when I was going through a very difficult time. They literally showed up, one in human form, and others just by being miracles to protect me, but also to show me my spiritual path and to just take care of me in a very emotional and secure way. I was so excited at that time about how angels were around me that I ran to my local parish priest to tell him all about it, all the miracles that were happening to me, um, he did not share my enthusiasm. He told me that it was all just superstition. And I felt very sad that day because I knew that what was happening to me was very real. And I held on to it. The toughest times, they're there. At the times when I ask for their help, they always come through. They may not come through that day, but they'll come through in a few days. And their signs are distinctive. Some of the most common signs that your angels will show you are white feathers, license plates, numbers, especially 1111 can definitely be an angel, dreams, light touches like wings in your hair, a warmth around you that feels like a warm hug, of a, a high-pitched sound where you might think you have tinnitus, but you're actually hearing an angel. Perhaps just a higher vibration around you, like a, a vibration perhaps along your face. You can ask for them to show themselves in specific ways as well. As long as you detach and don't keep looking for it everywhere, you're definitely going to get it, or at least notice it. I don't call upon my personal angels enough. I feel like I call on them when I most need help, because I know I can trust them and I know that they have the most power to help me. While friends and other loved ones may mean well, angels are more powerful. So when I want help with sadness, happiness, health, finances, I go to them. Just being a better me, I go to them. And, and yes, you can go to your angels in the same way as well. You can talk right out loud to them. It is not sacrilegious. It is not blasphemous. They were created to serve you. That is their role. And they take great joy in their role. So it is all right for you to use them that way. I do recommend that you ask for their guidance and then thank them. It's not that they have egos that need you to feel gratitude. But gratitude generally prospers. It puts you into the abundance flow. And of course, it makes your angel very happy. And I feel that whenever we ask for help, and we definitely receive it, we should feel gratitude. And gratitude, as I said, just thrives. It just prospers. Now, because I love angels so much, well, let me tell you first. When I was at this earlier time in my life, in my later teens and early 20s, I would see them in dreams. I would see them in human form. Once, I mean actual human form. I knew afterwards that was definitely an angel. 
But for the most part, it was really just dreams or hearing them. I'd actually hear an angelic voice. And I have to say, I went through what I like to call angelic envy. Because at that time, I was hearing a lot of stories about how people were seeing angels on park benches around people or um, here or there. And I'm like, I don't see them. I only hear them. And they would come to me in subtle ways. They might come at the end of a dream and go, here I am. And I would say, it's not good enough. I want to see you all the time. Finally, when I got in to my 30s, and I was really close to starting my spiritual life purpose, I started to see them. I saw them on uh, planes. I saw them on homes. I saw them on cars. I saw them around people. I saw so many of them that this part of my face, my third eye, ached. And I started to get a little headache. It was too much. That's how much they are there. And that brings me great security, as I hope it would for you as well. Now, when I started working full time, almost, I want to say, um, since 2006, so it's been about 14, 15 years ago, I knew immediately that since I was able to discern the presence of angels and hear them, that I should help my clients with the help of angels. So I immediately at that time would channel angel messages. I even included it at that time with my sessions, my in-person sessions and my travel sessions. But the truth be known, I found guided over time that that was not the best thing to do. Number one, I really offered it as an extra because at the time, I didn't think I was worthy just to have the one session, so I wanted to add at all. So things would fall apart over time a little bit, and I took it as a sign the angels wanted me to move on from channeling messages for every single one of my clients. For instance, the angels knew when someone would not show up for their appointment or would not show up at a business that I was at, yet I would channel a message, and I would have as much as message for nothing. They wouldn't receive it sometimes. And I thought, guys, you knew. You knew they wouldn't be there. Why did you allow me? Why did you talk to me and give me a child message for someone who would not receive it? And so I learned it's because they wanted me to back up away from it. But now you can have angel messages upon request. You order it through the category of email and products on my scheduling website. Now, because you're listening to this video, I have a special offer for you. You get $5 off a channeled angel message or $5 off a channeled angel message where you get to ask a question. The first message is usually $25, so it would be $20. And the second message, because you get to ask a question, is $40, which would now be $35. I also offer... offer <laughs> Um, angel coaching sessions in person and by telephone and Zoom. These are live channeled angel messages where you also would get to ask the angels questions live and you get the option of more than one question. Those sessions are a little bit more expensive because they're generally a half an hour in length and it's a very protective time between you and your angels. It does not include any time of intuitive help, any other kind of intuitive help or medium shop, it is strictly a session about angels. And that is under private appointments as well. So I hope you will consider one of these services. Very shortly now, I'd like to share just to go over what angels are. So one moment while I bring that up. I'm going to share a document. And here we are. I've gone small screen again. <laughs> so to repeat, angels are spiritual beings created to be our protectors, our messengers, and upon request, our personal guides. We all have one to two guardian angels from birth to death. I'd like to add that often we go through things. And when we go through things such as grief or new careers or changes in love life, you will get more angels. You also get more angels if you are in a career that is more risky or serves more people, such as teachers or firemen or policemen. 
the coupon code to get a special special angel product just by email not the angelic coaching session in person but the email sessions is angel five and that is for channeled angel messages channeled angel messages with questions as well all right i'm going to stop sharing thank you so much for joining me today for what does lisa do i also would like to end this with telling you i also channel spirit guides and ascendant masters and I channel as well from the Akashic Records, which are the records of your life. But I'd like to make that a different appointment. But giving you a heads up, I also do that as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this appointment. And I look forward to talking to you next time. I don't know what I'll talk about next, but hopefully it will be able to be shortly. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.